hello friends uh, welcome back so in this video we'll be learning about that uh, bootstrap model thing okay in previous video we have learned that bootstrap form okay i mean bootstrap table how we design it and uh, use it for the php in a future version like when you are inserting deleting it using bootstrap okay so guys let's get started without wasting the time okay so in last video that we have learned how to design a table okay inside one card so yes guys let's go back and design that model okay so like in a bootstrap file we have learned about how it is and yeah guys so this was the output so this is the output and uh, yeah so we'll design a model in it okay so now we will create one add button okay so when we'll create one add button inside that we will if on click on add one model should get popped up so let's start with that so guys i am putting inside the container this my header okay so this header is over here okay so this is the header and this is the simple title okay so below that i am going to put and this is the simple title and below that i am going to use my model i mean button for the model okay that is dot row so i am creating one row inside that i am creating a column so inside column i'll paste the buttons okay so md well i'll use it and going to create one button button okay so inside button uh, if you are watching from previous video so you will understand how the classes are used okay for the buttons so i'm going to use a bootstrap class so class is equal to and btn btn i'm going to use primary itself or we'll use it success okay this is cc ess yes so i'll show you that buttons design in this okay so if you click on buttons inside components if you click buttons so you'll get all kind of design so success is green color s u c c e s s so i'm clicked on that and i have copied that class over here and okay i'll show you the output how it is so reload okay so it is attached and it is not like a round and all so will create it it is very simple and very easy so i'll give one break line so attachment should not be there and i'm going to float this okay so float uh not here will give us text right okay so uh, we want to move that at right side this button okay this button i want to move at right side so i'm going to float that okay i mean text r i g h t so this is a bootstrap class where we are using it so i'll give and reload so it is moved at right and we, i want to design at this style moment so i'll just give inside this button class that is badge minus p i l l okay pill so that is badge pill and now i'm going to reload it so it is designed but i want the width also over there some width so what i'm going to do is that outside the class i'll use on style 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 width is to 80 pixels okay now let's go back reload okay now it's done if i click on add button so it should add the model okay it should pop up the model so let's go to our bootstrap and click on components so click on documents so inside components you'll get the model okay finally we have got your model and i'll show you an example that how the model comes okay so if i launch the model the model is coming right so i'm going to copy this first itself so just copy this okay and paste it above the container at the starting of your body i'm going to paste it okay so just give paste and boom we have copied it now so and this is our button for the model to pop up okay 
so first I'm going to show you the output this is a file reload and we have got over here okay so if I click on this the model is getting launched the model is getting launched because I have used the script and link for the bootstrap okay so if you don't include this this model will not work okay so I am going to show you that I will comment this so I am not using that script and reload now if I click load see how much ever time I click it's not loading if I am doing this uncommenting this and now reload and now if I click it's getting open okay so this is the logic of bootstrap it is very simple to design a model okay so now what we have to do the changes is that if I click on this add the model should get popped up right so for that I am going to change the ID over here okay this is the model I don't want this button okay so for that I will copy the this data toggle and data target okay so control X and pasted inside your button okay this was the button which we created for add so I'm going to paste over here that's it and change this ID as a add data okay only add I will give fine this is the add with hashtag control C and this data target should get and this is your model right so this was your button where is that okay so this was your button and this this is the model so we are going to paste here add that's it and now we will delete this button okay so the model is ready now now add id will go to this where is your button where you have given this okay so save it and go back to your chrome reload the button is lost and now if you click on add so we'll get the title okay so this is how we design a model in the bootstrap file okay so i want to design a form into this bootstrap file so we'll print one thing simply as h2 as hello boot okay so let's reload and check so we are getting hello boot so inside this i am going to design the form okay so to store the value so just clear this and inside this model we will design the form let's go to bootstrap form and search for the component inside that component forms so what the form inside form mm, we will take this first code itself and edit it so i am going to copy this and paste inside the model okay so paste now the form is ready right so what we are going to do is that edit the template of bootstrap so i don't need this small something called so i'll use remove it and yep so let's design so i don't need all this okay so i'm going to remove i am just keeping one button i don't need button also okay in that form just because we already have buttons okay so first I'll show you the how the output is now let's go back reload and check okay email so we will change it we want to keep as first name last name and phone number so let's go and copy this control C V enter control V so three contents are there now we will change it as uh, enter first name okay and change this id empty only you keep it it's better and change this text type is equal to text for everything text and this is also text so this form id also normal normal we don't need this all so you can remove or just ignore it okay don't need what is this space so we don't need this also just remove and just give f i r s t first name so a name in name 
so that is another is last name okay last name and final one is phone number okay so just copy it control C and uh, paste it over here that is okay and enter last name over here that's it let's go reload and add so you are getting first name last name and phone number so guys you have learned how to design the bootstrap model okay so same wise if you click on edit the edit model should come okay so like that only you we have to design it right so for that uh, i'll just show you one simple example that is to copy this form itself okay so this form is for add right and we will copy this okay so i'm going to copy this control c and i'm going to paste it again under that okay now i have copied this this is the add right now we will change it to edit model okay so we are going to change the id of the model that is edit and go to the table where is the table this is the table inside action we have set two things so this is the edit button inside that i am going to uh, add the model id okay so for that we need this kind of things okay so that is data target and data toggle so i'm going to copy it and paste it inside your button and change the id as edit done so it's done and now let's go back to our code reload it so click on edit the model comes over here also so guys very simple and very fo formal way so you have learned how to create a model okay so in this video that's it guys and uh, yeah guys uh, this is how we create a card inside card one table and inside one model so model you have created now inside model you have created one form also okay so this is how we design these things and this is how it works the bootstrap so without this links where is the link okay so without this link your bootstrap file doesn't work so if you want to know about this link just go to your bootstrap.com documentation if you click the first page shows that css and javascript okay so this is what we use and use it so guys finally we have learned how to create a model form and the table okay guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share thank you